Hello there and welcome to the video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Emily and I post weekly beauty videos and tutorials. So if that sounds like something that might interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video is kind of a first impressions. It's the first time that I've done this foundation on my skin. It's not the first time that I've used this foundation, but anyways, it's gonna be on the Graftobian HD Glamour Cream Super Palette. This is a cream foundation palette that somebody might use like as a makeup artist for photography or for weddings, just stuff involving lighting. And I just kind of wanted to put it on my face and figured I would film it for y'all. I've been using it on my brides lately and I just kind of wanted to see how it would act on my face. And this was my end result. So if you want to see how I use the Graftobian Super Palette today, then just keep on watching. Okay, I have nothing on my face. I'm going to start with a moisturizer. And for a moisturizer, I'm going to use the Dermatologica Active Moist Moisturizer. And I bought this for my makeup kit, but I was using it as well like the past two days. And I really like this moisturizer. It's very lightweight and not very heavy. I guess it's the same, same thing, but yeah, I really like it. And my face is breaking out a little bit, but it's not from this moisturizer. That's just from, you know, that time of the month situation going on. So other than that, I really like it and I put it underneath this exact type of makeup on the two, no, on the three people that I've done it on recently and it ended up looking really good. I will say that I want to get something a little bit more moisturizing for mature skin, but on the like mid 20, late 20 year old skin that I've been using it on, it turned out really, really great. And next, I'm going to prime with the same thing that I've been using on my brides and in my makeup kit, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. And I mentioned it in my last video, but my best friend recommended this to me and I really, really liked it. So I've been using it for any kind of makeup that I need to last all day. This is definitely that primer to really grip your foundation and hold on to it throughout the day. And onto the foundation. So this is what I'm gonna be using. It's the Graftobian. I believe this is the warm. Yeah, this is the warm HD Glamour Cream Foundation Palette and it has a bunch of cream foundation shades and this is really really great for makeup kits which is why I bought it but yeah this foundation I'm not gonna like hold it up because I don't want to ruin the pans but this foundation is really great for weddings and photography and that kind of vibe so I haven't tried it on my face yet so this is gonna be the first time I'm trying it on my skin but I have used it on other people so I have an idea of what works best and how to apply it I actually tested it on my best friend with a couple different applications and using different concealer or just using the lighter shade of the foundation and the cream palette and using that as a highlight and we kind of liked using the cream foundation better and we also liked using it with a brush better on her. Yeah, I just kind of want to see whatever. I'm going to start with a brush and see how it looks, see how I like it and then if I need a beauty blender or something then we can always add that later. Okay, so I just have a basic flat foundation brush. This one is from e.l.f. I believe it was like a couple dollars and it's perfect for stuff like this or any kind of foundation application. So if you just want like a cheap synthetic brush, I recommend this one from e.l.f. And I'm not sure which shade is for me, but I think I'm gonna start with the second shade and just kind of see where it goes from there. So I just grabbed some on this foundation brush. Um, I also have like a little pan that you can like scoop it out and mix shades. So if I need to do that, I'll do that later. But I wanna just see if I can use one shade for now because that's been working lately on the people I've used it on. Yeah, see, like, I think that's going to be a close enough match. I feel like I'm just, like, 
painting on Photoshop at this point. Like it just really goes on so well and so easily. I mean, yeah, like I have a very pink skin tone, so maybe I need like a more, I don't know, pinky tone palette for myself personally, but I can make this work with bronzer and blush and stuff. I'm not worried about it. But yeah, I mean, it just still looks like skin. It just looks really good. Mm. Okay, so there is the base, and next I have a different synthetic brush, and I'm gonna go into the first shade, and I'm gonna use this to brighten the under eye. And next I have this contouring brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to use this to do a little bit of contouring and I'm going to use this fifth shade right here. Okay, so there is the face and I need to set it a little bit because I can't find a cream blush, so I'm gonna have to use a powder blush, which is fine. But yeah, so this is kind of where we're at right now and I like it, I think it looks good. Not really used to seeing myself with a full face of foundation on anymore, so it's like kind of shocking, but it's gonna look really good. So. so I'm gonna set the face using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and so I like to take a little brush and I like to set it up with the powder and then go with my little synthetic brush with nothing on it and then I look up I tap everything under my under eye and then I have the powdered brush over here and then without looking down I tap the powder in there and then that way I don't get a bunch of creasing under my eye. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and there's the under eye set. And because I do have wrinkles on my forehead, I like to tap out those so that I don't set in those creases. Even though I know they're going to come back, I really can't avoid them unless I get Botox or like fillers or something. And I'm not doing that right now. So tap, 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 get a brush, and then set. Okay, so there it is set, and wow, it looks like really smooth, even in person. It looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows very quickly off camera, and then I'll be back to finish the rest of the face. 
Okay, so I'm back and I did an eye look tutorial and I did my lip already. So now I just need to finish the rest of my face and then this look will be complete. So first I need to do some blush. And I'm going to use my Benefit Cheek Stars palette for my blush today. And I'm going to go in with this middle shade Sugar Bomb. And then for a highlighter, I'm going to use two and I'm going to start off with my Jaclyn Luminous Powder. And then I'm going to go into my Anastasia palette and use the middle shade Forever Young. And then I'm going to set my face using the All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm back. I need to change my shirt, put on a little bit of jewelry, and this look is complete. And here is my face up close. And overall, this foundation is really amazing. I love how it looks on camera. It evened all of my redness. My skin is all one shade, except for obviously where I contoured and stuff. Like, this is a very lightweight foundation. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on right now. And as you can see, it just comes out so beautifully on camera and with lights and it would just be really perfect for any photography or events like that. This palette is not really something that the everyday makeup wearer would want to wear. So again, I'm, I'm trying to just show y'all some different kinds of makeup that maybe you haven't seen before. I thought that this palette looked really cool, so that's why I bought it. I just wanted something where I wouldn't have to buy like 20 different shades of foundation. So yeah, let me know if you enjoy these kind of like makeup artist focused videos. I know that it's not really what most of y'all are here for, but just let me know if you enjoy it or if I should just kind of put that kind of stuff on the back burner and just kind of focus on eye look tutorials and stuff like that. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next new video. I haven't checked my subscribers in about two hours but I was at 299 and so I'm hoping that I've already hit 300. I'm pretty positive that by the time this video comes out I should be past 300. So thank you so much for everybody helping me get to 300 and I'm just I'm ready for 500. I think the next giveaway is gonna be at 500 so help me get to that and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a happy December with holidays coming up. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!